when I speak at conferences in front of um, fitness professionals, I often ask, you know, name name all the running races that you know. And I ask them just off the top of their head, name running races. And they'll say, right, marathons, half marathons, triathlons, 10Ks, 5Ks. And after they finish naming all these races, I kind of pose the question, well, how come none of you mentioned a 50 meter race or a 100 meter race or a 200 meter race? It doesn't cross our minds. We're so engulfed in endurance running or endurance training that the alternative doesn't even cross our minds like a shorter race. And I always wonder like, why is that? Why, why, how did that become a thing where we just do endurance activities or endurance races for the most part? The only really short races, sprint races for adults or um, you know, people in their 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s are like master track and field events, which are hard to find, and senior game events where seniors can participate in like a 50 meter or a 100 meter or 200 meter, and they're, they're hard to find as well. But it's just a question that I often ask is, you know, how did that happen? How did we get into this endurance craze? You know, why don't we ever think about some of these other shorter races or events that we can't all participate in if we choose to train for them.